As the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. The same applies to clutter. We all want our kitchen to be clutter free, especially our countertops. For that reason, many homeowners opt for a minimalist kitchen design. To achieve that look, we need to optimize our kitchen and come up with more organized storage. Simphome.com has compiled a list of ideas to help you adhere to the minimalist aesthetic. Number 12. Optimize your awkward space with some lazy seasons. More often than not, trying to find the items you want quickly and a regular cabinet can be a challenge, or you see what you need, but they're at the back. You need to move the front items or put them down on the countertop temporarily so you can access the things you want. Then you have to put them back and repeat the whole process. It can be time consuming and downright tedious. Here comes the Lazy Seasons to the rescue. They're terrific rotating trays to have, especially in corner cabinets. They replace a shelf space entirely. Although not for space maximization, Lazy Seasons will help keep your items organized and within easy reach with a simple spin. Number 11. Little Upper Cabinet Little cabinets are terrific space savers above the seldomly utilized gap above the sink. They allow enough room so you can bend over without hitting your forehead. However, reaching for the items you want inside them can be tricky and even a bit dangerous. You don't want those things falling on your head. If you can find storage bins or baskets that fit each compartment to a T, that would be perfect. They will allow you to organize the contents and easily access them whenever you need something or store them back. That's why these containers would be great for lightweight items like your plastic stuff so that you can lift them without much effort. Number 10. Organize your kitchen easy way Here are a few nifty hacks for repurposing some organizer products you can buy on Amazon. A lazy Susan made with bamboo can become a handy kitchen utensil rack. Pre-drill eight evenly spaced holes just inside the rim. Screw eight hooks with the ends facing outwards. Then mount the Lazy Susan under a cupboard near your range oven. Number 9. And optimize it more with this idea. You can use two iZessy spring tension curtain rods as vertical dividers in a counter cabinet or cupboard to neatly separate your chopping boards, pans, strainers, and various trays. These iZessy rods can help organize your spice drawers too. Lay them down horizontally so the top of the bottles rests on the next rod behind them. Lastly, add hooks to all the pegs on a wooden accordion rack to hang your colorful mugs on a wall. Number 8. Vertical Shelving for Your Awkward Space Vertically positioned floating shelves and towel racks will help you organize your items scattered on your countertops. It's more convenient if they're nearby within easy reach of the sink on your range oven. For example, you can use the bare side of a built-in refrigerator wall to install two to three floating shelves. There, you can neatly arrange and quickly access your go-to items, such as your knife block, bottled ingredients, condiments, jars, coffee maker, and more. It's also a convenient spot to hang a paper towel holder. You can also use exposed counter ends to install kitchen towel bars. Number 7. Tray Divider Above the Fridge That cabinet above the fridge would be a perfect spot dedicated to organizing trays and cutting boards. Begin by measuring your tallest item and also the widest one. That way, all of them will fit within a vertical slot. Next, cut 3 4 inch plywood for the vertical frame dividing the cabinet into two sections. Then, cut 2 3 4 inch plywood for the top and bottom of your tray organizer. Use a router with a flat 1 4 inch dotto bit to carve evenly spaced straight grooves on these top and bottom pieces. That's where you'll slide the vertical 1 4 inch plywood dividers. Use a jigsaw to cut identical notches at the fronts to grab the item you need conveniently. On the right, you can add a couple of pull-out shelves to organize other stuff. Number 6. Or if that's too much of a hassle, get this adjustable large stainless steel dish rack. If you find the DIY project previously a bit too labor intensive, you can get this modular and expandable stainless steel dish rack. It lets you drain your dishes directly into your sink so you can say goodbye to wet and messy countertops. What's more, you can attach wire racks for your knives, cutting boards, utensils, strainers, soaps, cutlery, paper towels, and more. You can arrange the racks in any configuration you like and remove some of them that you won't need. It's made of stainless steel with rubberized coating and it's durable enough to last a long time. Best of all, it lets you reduce clutter, leaving you with more countertop space. Number 5. 
slide and conceal your spice drawer. Sometimes you see a picture or video clip that gives you so much inspiration but little way of instructions. Take the case of this fantastic pull down spice rack. If a picture or clip doesn't give enough info, you can get an equally excellent substitute like this slim cart from Obor. It's only 6.5 inches wide with casters, about 7.7 .7 inches deep and 37.8 inches high, including the top handles. It will fit snugly between a freestanding fridge and the counter next to it. It has four railed shelves, including the top one. You can conveniently put it out to serve as a spice rack or store other condiments and larger bottles. Number 4. DIY Wire Utensil Rack Idea A remesh sheet and some small S-shaped hooks can serve as a wall rack for your various kitchen utensils. Many contractors use remesh sheets to reinforce poured concrete. You can repurpose it as a unique DIY kitchen utensil rack. Use a bolt cutter or an electric grinder to cut the mesh to the dimensions you want. Apply a primer and paint it black and wait for it to dry completely. Hang it on your kitchen wall on at least two anchors so it won't tilt. Use as many S-hooks, preferably black, as necessary to hang your various kitchen utensils. It's a minimalist rack that's simple to replicate, will organize your utensils neatly, and doesn't burn a hole in your pockets. By the way, you can get a remesh sheet on Lowe's or Home Depot. Number 3. Scandinavian Drying Cabinet Idea if you don't want a dish rack on your counters, you can convert a small cabinet above your kitchen sink into a minimalist Scandinavian drying cabinet concept. You'll need to disassemble a folding dish rack made of bamboo that you can find on Amazon. Remove all the extra pieces, then cut and sand the primary, large, medium, and small grill pieces until you get their basic rectangular shape. Next, cut the cabinet's bottom out, line the interior with redwood backing, and add support slats at the bottom to hold the largest grill. Be sure to waterproof all the new wood with boiled linseed oil. Then position the medium grill horizontally on the bottom left corner and screw it to the backing. Place the large bamboo piece at the bottom and make sure it's aligned with the medium one. Finally, place the small one on the right of the large one. Number 2. Custom Pull-Out Shelving Idea Pull-out shelves are a terrific solution to organize the things in your counter cabinets and cupboards. The great thing about them is that you don't have to squat down, search, and reach for items like regular shelves. You pull the shelf just like a drawer, and it will slide right out. It makes it easy to find and grab the item you want quickly. You then slide it in, out of the way, and out of sight when you close the doors. These shelves also have rails to prevent things from sliding off while in motion. You'll notice in the example that the rails have a tapered design. That allows for double sliders so it can carry heavier loads. They're very versatile, and you can mount one using both sides of the cabinet or one on either side. That makes them the ideal storage under sinks to avoid the drain pipes and maximize the odd space. Because you are still watching this clip, I have to tell you that your subscription and support influence this channel's growth and quality. For that reason, click the subscription box under the video if you haven't done it already. More about that later after I complete this presentation. Next, let's finish our top 12 list ideas with… Number 1. DIY Plate Rack Idea Heaven Made Build this DIY plate rack that also functions as a decorative piece. The parts are assembled with 1 by 1 4 inch pocket hole screws and brads. Cut your desired pattern using a jigsaw on the lower level of two 33-inch, 1-by-6-inch sidings. Next, cut a straight line 4 inches from the straight edge of the remaining upper levels. Attach the 1-inch by 6-inch by 22-inch bottom shelf and a 1-inch by 4-inch by 22-inch backing below it. Attach two 1-inch by 4-inch by 22-inch shelves at mid-level and the top. Then add 1-inch by 2-inch by 22-inch trim to all the shelves that will serve as rails. Drill 6 evenly spaced 3 8 inch holes on the bottom backing and glue in them 3 8 inches by 2 inch dowels. Finally, stain the wood to the color you want. Conclusion For homeowners who go for the minimalist kitchen design, they love the simplicity, elegant lines, and most of all, the minimal clutter. Our surroundings affect the way we feel. A cluttered kitchen can negatively affect our mood and make working in the kitchen an ordeal. That's why we need storage solutions to minimize objects on our countertops and hide and organize as much as we can. Not only will that help us maximize the space and minimize clutter, but it will also help us achieve that minimalist look that we love. 
Lastly, for more minimalist design ideas for your home and related inspiration, visit your loyal list maker website, simphome.com. That's it for now. For more compilations like this, press the like button under the video or comment on it if you think YouTube deserves to host another list video like this. Feel free to share the video link with anyone close to you inside your social media circle. And until we meet again later sometime soon, thanks for watching and have a good day.